everyone, my name is Jessica. If you're new here, I am so glad you decided to click on my video and check out my newest H&M haul. I'm the fashion and lifestyle blogger behind MissMoreStyle.com. Here on YouTube, I make videos about fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel, but on a budget with some occasional splurges in there. So if you are looking to live your best life without breaking the bank, this is the place you wanna be. So hit that red subscribe button uh, and ding the notification bell so that every time I upload a new video, you're the first one to know about it. As I said, today is an H&M haul. This is kind of like a late summer, early fall haul. This probably will be one of my last hauls before I start going into fall. My next video this week is going to be breaking down all the fall 2021 trends. So definitely subscribe if you're interested in hearing all about that, because I don't know about you, but I love to know all the fall um, trends before I start buying things for fall so that I have all those things in my mind as I'm shopping. Some of the things I'm going to show you today in this haul are great for right now while it's still hot. They will also transition well into your fall wardrobe. If you're interested in anything that I show you today, as always, everything that I'm going to be wearing and talking about will be linked down in the description box below. So you can just head down there to shop all the links as well as my sizing information. Let's get right into okay, it. Okay, so the first item in this haul is probably the least um, transitionable into fall months, and that is totally fine. But it is this beautiful, like, vibrant, like, golden yellow Lyocell blend dress. I'm heading off to a friend's wedding in New Mexico in about two weeks, and I've really been struggling on what I wanted to wear for this wedding. I know it's gonna be outdoors, it's gonna be super hot outside, so I wanted to something that was gonna feel breezy, but I also wanna look beautiful, obviously. Wedding appropriate, which by the way, I have a whole video of wedding guest outfit ideas for every type of wedding. So if you're interested in that, you're also struggling on what to wear to an upcoming wedding, I'll link that video down in the description box so that you can check that out after this one. I saw this dress online and I just was like, wow, that is so beautiful. It looks so romantic and flowy and I do love myself this shade of yellow. I personally feel like I look good in this shade of yellow. I know it's not for everyone, but I think being like pale skinned and with dark hair, it just, it really works for me. And I really feel like like a modern day bell in this dress, I'm not gonna lie. It also comes in a really gorgeous like beigey color, which I really wanted that one, but I just wanted to play it safe. And I don't want to like toe the line of like people possibly thinking that the dress I was wearing looked too white. I don't wanna be that person, so I went for the yellow one. This dress hits pretty, it, it hits me almost to the floor. Like it's almost a maxi dress. So if you're petite, this probably will fit you like a maxi dress, but it has like a solid slip underneath that goes about to the knees. And then from the knees down, you can kind of see there's like some sheerness there. So you can see the legs a bit. I really think it's so pretty. The back is honestly what is so gorgeous about this dress it's very open in the back um, and it's fastened by that little tie bow in the back so obviously if you're looking at this you can tell you cannot wear a normal bra with this or even a strapless bra but I will say as someone who is larger chested I have a 34 double D chest I'm wearing this without a bra and I feel very secure in it because you can um, really tie yourself in there tight with that bow and adjust it according to what you need and I really feel like all I need are some pasties and I'm good to go with this the fabric on this is so stunning it has like a sim very subtle sheen to it it's gonna be the perfect wedding guest dress and the price is right because it was $35 dollars such a good buy it's from the h&m conscious collection literally love it so much the next item was such a find i've already shared this on my community tab and also on my instagram stories but look at this little bag this is such a good little like inspired by bag for the dior book tote um i have like a really large one that you guys have probably seen in multiple of my hauls and you will see it in this one as well this is quite a bit smaller than the like regular size dior book tote but dior does make smaller versions of the book tote and i just think this really gives the vibe of that it's just this really cute like woven uh, material in this cream and beige combination and i love the little crossbody strap that comes with it i think this just kind of gives the bag like a casual sportiness that just makes it so cool you can detach it if you don't want the longer strap attached and you just want to carry it around like this but this was $24. I really hope it's still in stock. If you want this, do not hesitate. Go down in the description box and get it right now because I can guarantee you this is going to sell out. Stuff like this sells out so fast at H&M. Go grab this while you can. My next item is this sort of like teal bluish color sweater vests. Sweater vests have been a trend for the last, I would say, year or so, and they're still going strong. So if you don't have one yet in your wardrobe, this one's a great option because it is a little bit more cropped. I'm not gonna say that it's a cropped sweater vest, but it kind of hits right at the perfect point for high-waisted pants, which is usually what I wear. Um, and I think this is gonna be such a versatile piece. This sweater vest is also from the H&M Conscious Collection, which I love. It is made from 65% recycled polyester. And I got a medium in this because I really wanted to have more of like a boxier fit because I feel like you can wear this right now as a top, as you're seeing me do. Uh, it looks really cute with this little flirty skirt that I have on. But then later in the fall, this is gonna be such a great piece for layering and mixing and matching with different outfits. I love it worn over just like a plain button down. I think this is a cool, very casual, very like right now on trend sort of look. 
um, wearing things that are a little bit more boxy, a little bit more oversized, and white button downs are going to be such a staple. I mean, they always are a staple, but they are they are in so many of the fall 2021 runway looks. So this button down, I'm not gonna like talk about it too long, but it is also from my recent H&M order, and it's a really great one. I got it in a small. It still has that sort of oversized fit, but it's not like too oversized for me because I have like a bigger chest and I'm curvier. When I do things that are oversized, I try not to go overboard with it because I feel like that tends to make me look more frumpy. So it's really a balance with proportions and finding like something that has that oversized feel but isn't too big to sort of still look flattering but also be on trend. Wearing this sweater vest and button down with these sort of tan slacks. I got these in a size six and I have to say they fit very, very well. They're true to size. I like the way that they fit throughout the leg. I feel like through my thighs, they just kind of skim and then they're a little bit wider, like more straight leg on the bottom. And they've got this little cut out on the, the bottom of the pants, which is also has been kind of a trend lately. I've been seeing like jeans and different slacks and things having that little side slit on the outside to kind of show off your shoes a little bit better. The one thing I will say about these that I don't love is the fact that they are a little like on the shorter side. Like I feel like I'm like average height, I guess five, seven is pretty average for women and they hit me like right at the ankle. And I wish they were just a tiny bit longer because for summertime and wearing sandals, I think they're going to, they're fine, but I just don't think I'm going to really translate into wearing them with things in the fall. We'll see, we'll see, but I just, I love the feel of the fabric. Again, this is also part of the H&M Conscious Collection. The fabric just has such a beautiful feel and flow to it, and they're incredibly comfortable. These pants are 80% viscose, which makes them so soft. I love the feel of viscose. I know I'm gonna get so much wear out of these the rest of the summer and into like the earlier fall months. I love how you can wear these more casually like I was with the uh, sweater vest before, but you can definitely jazz it up with a blazer and some nicer shoes and um, different Different accessories and make it feel a little bit more business casual so i think they're a super super versatile piece to have okay so this next item was kind of the gateway item for this whole haul as i like to say in a lot of my hauls there's always like one thing that you see online you're like i really want that but then you're like i can't just order one thing i have to like add more things to my cart does anyone else do that or is it just me comment down below let me know but i saw this knit tank and i was like that is so beautiful i love a knit tank. I think that they just are a great staple piece. They're so versatile. You can wear them underneath blazers. You can wear them with jeans. You can wear them with skirts. They're just a true like workhorse. And I feel like they do look a lot more upscale than let's say like a regular camisole tank top would look. This one I love because it has that very thin strap and then the really beautiful, very flattering sweetheart neckline. And they're cropped at just the right place to hit, like I said, where high-waisted pants would hit, which is what I love. I love high-waisted pants. I will not be jumping back into the early 2000s low-waist trend that's trying to come back. This is just the perfect top if you're like me and you like to wear those types of pants. So it just hits right at the right place. So there's not like a whole bunch of fabric. You don't really have to like tuck it in. It's perfect. I got it in this yellow buttercream kind of color, which is really beautiful. They also sell it in beige. It was sold out in my size, so I hope they restock soon. Got it in a size small. I, I would say to size down um, when you get knitwear like this from H&M, especially their knit tanks. I learned last H&M haul when I ordered a knit tank, I got it in a medium. And I find that their knits have just a lot of stretch to them. So it's better if you want the shirt to like fit you a little bit more snugly, especially with, when it comes to like straps and things not falling off your shoulders to size down, in my opinion. You know what they say, when you really love something, buy it in every color. So I got it also in this really bright, vibrant lime green color, which green is having such a moment right now. I've been really um, picking up different green pieces here and there to add to my wardrobe because I'm really into the green trend. I really love some of the color combinations that I've seen with lime green. So I wanted to style up an outfit that was like really bright and punchy. I styled it with lavender blazer, which I love like the juxtaposition of like that lime green and the like lavender pastel color purple. And then of course I had to throw on some hot pink heels because why not throw some pink into the mix, then put on this like big chunky gold necklace. And this is just a really fun, trendy look uh, that is very of the moment right now. I've been seeing this sort of color combination a lot lately, and I'm just so glad I could finally put something like this together because I've had it in my mind for like so long. Wearing this look with these gray slacks, which I also got from H&M, these are in a size six. And they, they fit really great. I would say these run true to size. So if you're going to get these slacks, take your regular size. I feel like gray is definitely having a huge moment been wanting to add some more classics to my wardrobe and i feel like gray slacks even though like gray is like in right now gray is always something that will be in these types of pants i know will last me for a long time i'll be able to year wear them for seasons and seasons and years down the road so i went ahead and got these i love the way that they fit they're kind of wider leg but almost like a little bit more tapered by the ankle and they're a little bit cropped at the ankle which i think is super flattering and cute 
They had these online with the gr a matching long line gray vest on the model. So I was like, I might as well get the whole look, right? So I also got the gray vest. I ordered this in a size small, which I definitely recommend that you do size down um, in this vest, at least one, maybe two sizes because it is a vest. And so you're not gonna have to deal with like sleeves or anything. And also the fact that it is made to be so oversized. And like I said before, with my frame, with my chest, I like to, I like to play with oversized things, but I don't like things to be too oversized because then I feel like it borders on messy looking. So with this, I think it's a cool look. I played around with it as a top, but then I ultimately just wanted to belt it because I felt like it was a little bit more flattering for me to put this big belt over it. This is the belt I like to call my Carrie Bradshaw belt. It is like very similar to the one that she wears in the Sex and the City movie, the first one, I think. And I found this at a vintage store in LA like forever ago. And it is like one of my favorite belts ever. And I think this is just a really cool edgy look. Like I almost really wish that I had like a bright hot pink bag to wear with this. I think that would give the look like a like good pop of color, but I don't have a hot pink bag in my wardrobe. Add hot pink bag to wardrobe. So instead I had to opt for hot pink heels, but then I thought, hmm, maybe we could try to make this vest wearable for like a fun summer situation. So I swapped out the matching gray slacks and put on my hot pink shorts from my previous Shein haul. And then I thought I would have a little bit of fun, get out of my comfort zone, maybe wear them with some black loafers since loafers are like really um, a trending shoe style right now. So I threw these on, Ex please excuse my white legs. I like literally have not gone outside enough times this year. I have not self tanned in a bit either. Um, so then I put on some socks to maybe make it feel a little bit better. I don't know, this look was a little bit like out there. So let me know in the comments what you think. Sometimes I just like to experiment and have some fun, uh, but I don't know, I just don't know about this one. The last item in this haul is this oversized blousey cream colored top. As I've been saying, I think several times in this haul, I'm really trying to find better staple basic pieces for my wardrobe so that I can um, have a lot more of like a good base from which to create my outfits. And I feel like there's just certain areas of my wardrobe that are just lacking. And one of those is just having some nice blouses. I have a lot of t-shirts. I have a lot of button up shirts, but in the between part of those two categories, I feel like I just don't have enough, like just nice, elegant blouses. So when I saw this one, I was like, that's really beautiful. I'm going to give it a try. It fits pretty oversized. I'm wearing small here. So I would recommend going down one, maybe two sizes. Cause this is very, it's cut very wide and it's just, a lot of shirt, but I think it's really, really pretty. And I almost don't even mind it like worn untucked, but of course I did tuck it in because I feel like I do like to show um, that my waist is right there. It kind of helps me look a little bit more slim, I feel like. And honestly, when I pulled this out of the H&M bag, I wasn't crazy about it. But then when I put it with the um, beige slacks from earlier, I was in love. Oh my God, I love this look. I've just been really going for like white and off-white cream monochromatic looks for the last year it's just been something i've really really liked and i think doing like a monochromatic cream or off-white or beige outfit just looks so upscale it looks put together it looks elegant and even though this outfit is very casual i'm wearing it with these great little uh tan leather slides that i just got from mark fisher which are on sale by the way they're very bottega-esque um but I just feel like everything in this outfit comes together and it's just a beautiful look that's casual and easy going, but it just looks very polished and very sophisticated. I feel very rich in this look, shall we say. Of course I had to pair the outfit with the little bag that I got and I feel like the little um, woven bag just adds so much to this look. It just adds the like visual interest and texture that this outfit needed and then piling it all my Etika uh, jewelry on on top just adds to the look. I think this might be my favorite outfit in this whole haul. I'm definitely gonna wear this out to meet up with my friends for drinks after I'm done filming this video, which is right now. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and checking out my H&M haul. Let me know down in the comments below what your favorite outfit was. I'm always so curious to know what you guys like the best. So leave me a comment down there, say hi, let's chat. Before you go, make sure to check out a couple more videos. I've picked a couple right here for you I think you're really gonna like. So stick around, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out so much. And I will see you all on my next video where we'll be talking fall 2021 fashion trends. Till then, bye.